you look at the island and you walk around it and the devastation is in your face. It's clear the center part of the island, about 70% of the island is mined out ruin where it's very difficult to traverse. You could hardly walk through it. The problem we have in understanding what's happening on a global scale is that it is an abstraction. And in order to come to believe the abstraction, you have to be able to go back and look at what has happened in more restricted locations. And that's why the story of Nauru, the story of Easter Island, the story of uh, other isolated places allow you to see the consequences. What we're saying is we have to tell a different story. And that story is that what allows human activities are life support that's provided by this very thin envelope around the planet that made up of a unique atmosphere and that atmosphere has been created by the interaction of life on this planet and the geological process that interact with that living system and this life support is a function of biological diversity and we don't know what elements of that diversity we need but we need to preserve all of it really and back away from moving into this sixth mass extinction which we're either in or shortly will be in we're going to now collapse elements of life support We somehow have to bring us to the point where we're able to, as my colleague Steven Schneider, who works on climate change, says we need a new ideology. And that ideology needs to be that really of the natural sciences, that argument and fact can change how I think, it can change my belief.